It's a bit rough out here today. Do you know what I like about having boats? This. jig first, just drop down with the jig and see what happens. Lovely Bessie, well done. <laughs> so I'm going to give this Odin jig a go. We're in a rack of about 80 meters, just put in some glow on it. Glow it up and then attach it to the jigging rod and see what's what. Nice. So we're on a different wreck called the Cheshire. And we have Simon and Dominic and Bowser. Uh, it's the first time we've been able to get out properly this year, as in 30 miles out. All the wrecks have been hit hard by the commercials. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm good at pouting. If you need any, let me know. Oh no, straight into a rack. How do I manage that then? Love it today. Just like putting my gear in the rack, that's all. I just like doing it. I just. What I tend to do sometimes is come out 30 miles and just throw jigs out the side of the boat. So I've just snapped off, so I'm just doing an FG knot. Quickly. just to finish up with a swivel with a Palomar knot. And a Palomar knot. Go on this setup again. I think. 2.30? Yeah. I'd like to go there because we're out here. Well, we've got enough time, haven't we? Well, it's going slack now. It said it's going, it's, it's looking like it's going slack. 0.3.
Last year? Yeah, last year. fish on all the wreck. Oh, it's terrible, mate. Just back. Yeah. Yeah, I've had enough already. Oh, I don't know. I've got bait on. Bait. Wrecking rig. I doubt, unless it's three pout. It's all big gear, 100 pound line and that. They don't want to come out. It's more like a ling, I think. Yeah. Could be. Mother massive whiting, isn't it? That's the biggest whiting I've seen. Look at that. And it's foul looked. <laughs> well, I, I don't think I've caught a whiting that big before. Yeah? Only oh, smalls, geez. but yeah, that's a nice little white in that. That is going for bait. with Pollock with jigs this is the major craft jig major craft sole power rod with a fin or reel 40 pound line
casting that tide. So we drift over it. See if there's any bigger ones. All we've had all day is pouting and big whiting. And then we've just found a wreck that holds a few fish. It's a sad, sad situation at the moment. Just coming on to it. Yeah, 1.8. No, we're just coming on to it. Literally, it's just starting now. Unless it's just a small pollock, but that's bassy bassy. Yeah, they're swimming at. Oh, oh, he doesn't like that. Oh no, it is a pollock. It's a half decent one. Well, half decent for today. Yeah. With rack uh, net marks all over it, mate. That's ma that's been in a a net recently. Yeah, because you've escaped the net, and he's not blistering. Oh, he is. Let's see if we can get him to go back. Yeah. Bang, straight away. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's fishing now. So, nice racking rig. Lots of whiting down here, so. Go, go whiting. All the pollock have been netted. We've been to six rats, racks, and all of them have just got lots of pouting on them. They've, everything's been obliterated. Sad, really. Just letting the lead drop onto the rack and then just lifting it up and dropping it back onto it, just feeling that bump dunk. And then, here we go, that's a pouting, pouting bite. Let it have that. That's a whiting.
big old white in. GoPro stop recording. Bit rough out here today. <laughs> Do you know what I like about having boats? This. This one, though. No yeah. Mark this one. No net marks. First one. It's not have marks on it. <laughs> you can't feel it. It's just, it's just straight there, and you've got a bite. <laughs> No! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I dropped it to the bottom and I think that's why. I'll go back in when you go in. Yeah. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> 